I think we have an exceptional bunch of fans because by the time I'd, I'd won it was 26 years. And yet, we're the biggest supported team in the land on that 26 years, every year. So it tells you something about the kind of fans we have. One, they're loyal, they certainly must have been patient, and set a third, they, they were consistent. They were always there. So there's a lot to, to thank them for that. You always need people on the terrace, and they're the lifeblood. And you know the, the, the amazing thing about supporters? They probably have a better knowledge than most about what's happened with the football team. You know, the, the facts and the details about how the team's performing, how the young players are coming through are. They seem to have a great touch and feel about what's happening in their football club. That's simple because most fans are entwined into the football club. You know, they're bedded into the fabric, the whole thing. Their grandfather supported, their grandmother, their, everyone in the family supported the one team. Managers do tend to come and go, and it's, it's uh, the part where uh, it's maybe always a little fear factor I have myself, you know, that you, you, you don't ever want to be sacked from a job, but it happens time and time again. Uh, whereas you can't sack a fan. <laughs> you know, you just can't sack them. They're always there. And you know, they, they, they've got, they've got, they live that thing more than we do because they get to work in the morning. Maybe on a Monday morning they get in there and they've got City fans and maybe Liverpool fans and vice versa. And therefore, there's, there's a lot of prestige at stake for them too. I think the real story started in 1960 when Samat rebuilt the club to win the European Cup. And the way they played, and the type of player they've always had, they've always had these players that have been easily recognised as the stars of their time. Which, whichever era you, you talk about, United always the players who were the stars of their era. And I think that's unusual. Uh, but it does emphasise uh, the type of player that Manchester United is always looking for. But when we are struggling in a game in the last 15 minutes, it's probably going to encapsulate the whole history of Manchester United, or my, my time here in the last 15 minutes, the important games, how they drive you on. That chemistry that can make players run the extra yard, you know? That when you see the, the last few minutes in Barcelona, and it, it panned into the fans, and it showed you a young boy when it went to one each. He's almost crying with emotion. He knew it was his going to be his day, that kid. And he had a big hat on, I don't know if you remember it, and he's all painted. And he's, he's so excited, you see the tears welling in his eyes, he knew it was going to happen. That force, that ball was sucked into that net. That's what we always think about Stratford End, it's sucked in. And that support it was unbelievable.